Hey there, folks. I think something's wrong. For miles and miles, these cows are lined up, single file, and not moving. They are not moving, y'all. If you look out in the distance, they're all lined up single file and not moving. What is going on? Hey folks, I really don't know why I've been on this subject for the past four or five videos about these church buildings and things. All I can tell y'all is when I feel it, I post it. It could be a day, it could be three days, it could be a week. Whenever I feel something from the Lord, I post it. That being said, I want to share y'all a horror story that I have about one of those buildings. It was the last one I attended. Again, someone had came up to me and said the same line that most all church building goers say. Well, my church isn't like that. So, okay, I'll give it a shot. Went up there. I gave it the benefit of a doubt for two months, three months or so. Even became friends with the preacher. Never been too much of a, a brown nose or anything. But I saw that he was into bass fishing, and I was like, hey, me too. And we just struck up a conversation, and then next thing I knew, I was out on the boat with him fishing bass tournaments. And we would fish. Sometimes it would be night tournaments. We'd fish all night long from, say, 10 o'clock at night till 5 o'clock the next morning. And we would just talk. One thing I never understood about him is when we were out in public, he's had plenty of opportunity to talk to people about the Lord. But he just left it up to me. And that was fine. But he would tell me, I just want people to be themselves. And I would ask him, doesn't the scripture say that we should die to oneself? Well, yeah, but people should still just be themselves. I said, well, that's not how it is in Scripture. We're to die to ourselves. Anyways, there was this big men's uh, retreat kind of thing that I attended. It was about 50 or so men that went on this little, <clears throat> I don't know, it was like a big bonfire and a camp out and all this other stuff, and... When I was there, they made this, they set this chair in the center of all these guys, right? And everybody went up there and told all their problems and then they get up and pray for them. So I said, okay, I'm going to try this. And I got out there and I shared all of my testimony, but made it short, right? I was telling them, you know, how I found my child dead, <clears throat> what they did to me, and my hell experience when I overdosed in 2002. I told them about my uh, heart stopping in 2018, what I felt. I told them everything. And this was before the third time my heart had stopped because that happened that December and that was like September when this happened. And I was completely and utterly ignored. Everybody just stared at the ground. <clears throat> nobody got up and prayed for me. Matter of fact, nobody even said a word to me after that. They treated me like I had the plague. And I watched man by man get up, go sit in that chair and say things that they were having problems with. Some people had porn addiction, some people had this, and some people had that. And everybody would cry with them and pray with them. And I was like, you know, I'm, I've am i experienced a lot more than a porn addiction and none of y'all got up and prayed for me instead I was treated like you know I had the plague or something and it really hurt me really bad that December rolls around and I had a surgery and I experienced that uh, my heart stopping again for the third time and not one person from that church building called to check on me or even acted like I existed. I got on Facebook Live to watch one of those services on Sunday morning 
And that same preacher that I'd been fishing with and hung out with and everything <clears throat> didn't even mention the fact that I needed prayer, that I was having surgery or had surgery and was having complications. And I knew at that point it was time to depart from it. There was no bitterness. I don't have any bitterness. I just see how things go in those buildings now. That wasn't the only one I've been in. Multiple. And they've all been the same. All of them. Also, we watch how people were so comfortable behind those pews. I've seen them out in public. Mouths quiet, not saying nothing to nobody. Snobby. That's why I say get out from behind those pews. Get out of those buildings. They're all the same, y'all. Going to those buildings on Sunday and Wednesday is not working for the Lord. It's a social club. Who dresses up the best and all this other stuff. You know what I wore when I went? Jeans, sometimes shorts, and a t-shirt. Why are you dressed like that in God's house? Then I would point scripture at them. They'd act like I was crazy. God does not dwell in any place made with hands. He's supposed to dwell within you. Wake up, church. Get out of the buildings. Get out from behind the pews. Open up. Spread the gospel. Jesus is coming very soon. Romans 10, 9 through 13. I love all of you and God bless.